Hello, Southminster family. This is the fifth week of Lent, and thank you for joining today as we read the words of Scripture and pray together. Let us open with a word of prayer. Out of the depths we cry to you, O God. Hear our cry as we come to you this day. Out of the depths we cry to you, O God. We come to hear your word spoken anew. Out of the depths we cry to you, O God. We wait and hope and proclaim your steadfast love. Our souls wait for you, O God, more than those who watch for morning. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Our first scripture reading today comes from the prophet Jeremiah. These are the words from chapter 31, verses 31 through 34. Hear now a word from the Lord. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant that I made with their ancestors when I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. A covenant that they broke, though I was their husband, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my law within them, and I will write it on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. No longer shall they teach one another or say to each other, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them to the greatest, says the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquity and remember their sin no more. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our psalm today comes from Psalm 51. Hear now a word from the Lord. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence, and blameless when you pass judgment. Indeed, I was born guilty, a sinner when my mother conceived me. You desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and block out my iniquity. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and sustain me a willing spirit. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray together. We come as your people, gracious God, be with us as we bend the knees of our hearts to confess the ways that we have broken yours. We have followed our way, not yours. We have ignored your call to walk in the way that leads to light and life. We have chosen words of anger and the way of war instead of the path of peace. We have turned away from the children you love, ignoring and rejecting the poor and needy and loving things more than people. We offer these our prayers, knowing that you are always ready to forgive us. You, who have written your law of love in our hearts, have declared that you will remember our sin no more. Create in us clean hearts, and fill us with new spirits 
of love and charity. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. In closing, may God who made the path in the mighty waters be with us as we walk in the path of love. God has done great things for us. May the Son, Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life, be with us to prepare to walk the way of, cro of the cross. God has done great things for us. And may God, the Holy Spirit, restore us, sustain us, and fill us with joy now and always. Thanks be to God, who has done great things for us. Amen. <laughs>